Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Listen, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! What's up, guys? Meeting Levi on a job today. There is a low profile water valve that's giving him some issues. We're gonna do some uh, more basic troubleshooting on that and we're also gonna talk about the different parts that go inside and what you guys can carry and bring back with you so you're not having to take second trips there. Let's go check it out. All right guys, we're gonna go over the low pro parts that you need for changing the gear kit. Uh, this is gonna be for 95 plus percent of the pools. I'm gonna show you the exceptions just so you guys are aware of them, but for the majority of pools, if you walk back there with these two, maybe three items, you're gonna be set for anything that you may come upon, save you a trip to distribution. First thing's gonna be the gear kit. This is for all low pros. This is a inch and a half and a two inch, so you don't even need to know the different size flaps for this one to work. This is gonna fit in all those. Now, like I said, there is that rare exception. Maybe these inside of a low pro, really, really rare. I've only seen a few of them, but if that does happen, this will still work. You just need a different cam underneath. This cam underneath is a ball cam, but uh, the kit that this kit that comes in here is gonna fit, like I said, 95 plus percent of your situations there. So now we've talked about the kit. We're gonna talk about the flaps that you may encounter down below. So those are going to be either this two inch or an inch and a half flap. Both of these just get pressed in. There'll be these metal bars inside there. You can reuse those. But, um, and then the exception to the 95% rule that you're gonna find these is you may find balls in there. And in that case, you just use a different cam. And so lastly, after you've changed the gear kit and you've changed uh, the flaps down below, the only thing left that could possibly need to be changed is a lid. And I have that here. We have a low pro lid. So once you've replaced these three items, the gear kit, the lid, and the six flaps that are in the bottom, you basically have a brand new working water valve for the homeowner. It's gonna keep that pool a lot cleaner. So with all that said, I'm gonna load up my bag here with the gear kit, the lid, and the six flaps, and we're gonna head back into the pool and see what we see. So this little tool, I got a distribution, and it just, I mean, I just got it recently. I've been doing this for years, so this, this makes all the difference for tightening <laughs> in. Now, what were some of the symptoms? What was it, is it just not? Not spinning, um, leaking out through the tops. Oh, is it leaking as well? Okay. Yep. Cool, cool. So yeah, we'll probably have to replace the lid then too. So the first thing, if you wanna come zoom in here, is there's a washer on top here. So we don't want that washer there. The washer needs to go between the impeller here and the gear kit and what you'll notice is that very first thing is that that's starting to wear and that's because this part here you can see is worn down and it's starting to rub on this there so if there's no washer there this plastic part starts to wear wear pretty quick and then it rubs and catches here and it'll start stalling the next thing is i'm going to check this i'm going to see A little bit of wear starting. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these flaps out and we're gonna replace those as well. So we're gonna do whole new flaps. Um, we need a whole new gear kit because this piece is broken and you said the lid's leaking. So we're gonna slap a new lid in here too. It'll be a brand new water valve by the time we're done. Oh, there's the other washer. So for changing out these flaps, you can pick up one of these tools that A&A manufactures. It comes with a removal piece, a piece for tapping them back in, and a little piece so you set them in at the proper depth. But uh, I've seen people use a claw of a hammer, uh, some channel locks, there's a few different ways to get these flaps out. And just pull back on it, and these flaps just come out. And like I said before, we're gonna reuse these metal pieces on the new flaps, because these don't really wear out. Use this tool, line it up there, and I'm just gonna tap it. You can hear it change sounds there, that's how you know when it's in all the way.
All right, so with all six of these flaps replaced, the next thing we're gonna move on to here is throwing in the new gear kit. It on? Uh huh. So there's the speed control. I don't have a new clamp, but that's all right. So, so when you throw, when you put the lid on everything, so. So with a brand new water valve that's just been started up, you're going to see a lot of air in the system. Uh, we had all the zones open, so it needs to rotate around to all the different groups of heads to flush out that air. So we got the water valve changed. You can see surface is moving. Got the water rocking rolling. However, we did notice, but the water level is really, really high. Almost up to the deck. And if you ever have these lids, replace them. I don't, my fingers don't do this. That's a, that's a pain. Fits right on this old one. And it's actually got some grip to it. You can see here, I can stick my hands all the way in here. Flush fitting. All right, so with the water off, we're gonna unthread this thing here. I can tell right off the bat, it's not the corky that's supposed to come with this autofill unit. The thread tape on here, if you put that on, you risk uh, run the risk of cracking the threads down in there. The threads at the bottom of our water leveler are tapered, and as you thread this in, there's a chance of it expanding and cracking if you thread it in too far, and most people wanna thread it down to here. So if you look at the A and A one here, You'll notice it doesn't have the red stopper. We also made a few other modifications inside to make it work better for swimming pools. You don't have this hose there that can lose suction. We actually have deleted that from the inside. There's a little piece of plastic in there that prevents water from going through there. It filters, it comes in through the bottom so it's not splashing around on top here. It's just a better water leveler. It's still made by Corky. We just have them make a few changes to it to make it more pool friendly. We're gonna hold that and the water leveler at the same time and get those down in there. So it's a reducer, plus the pressure of this pushing on here is what creates the seal and keeps water from bypassing past the water leveler itself. And just getting that hand tight, snug. It doesn't have to be crazy, crazy tight. Getting that hand tight. Hey guys, thanks for tagging along, helping me change out the water leveler and the gear kit back here. Uh, appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you are finding it helpful and uh, catch you guys next time.